Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Isengard campaign. This is the 13th episode and this is indeed the final episode. We are only one region from actually achieving the victory conditions. And we need to eliminate the factions Northern Dundan, Breland and Realm of Limladris. And we have already got rid of those factions long, long time ago. And we are now actually at Harland, we shall slaughter them and out. we do have a battle that we could play over here, and we will get the victory conditions. Let us the Haven Master is upcoming, so that's just the final battle to be honest. And I also want to get rid of the Dwarves of Eredluin as well. When we have we gotten rid of the Elves of Lindon, as well as the Dwarves of Eredluin, I would count our victory. To be honest, because then we have gotten Eredor rid of all the important good nations. Enedwife and Dunlan is just wild men, and Sauron's dominion over Middle Earth can finally start. Yes, my lord. Now we're going to besiege Framsburg as well, but it's not really of importance. The main importance today is just to really finish off the campaign and get a proper ending by just getting rid of these factions so we are simply just going to start with this battle now i'm going to play this on camera and i will see you all right we are here this is indeed harland i believe it was called anyways but we have seen most of these units before it's just to kind of fill and get a proper ending to this episode so today i'm going to talk about the episode which is going to I mean the campaign which is going to succeed this campaign and that is probably by the looks of it at the moment going to be well of the winning because they lead the faction world and I'm definitely looking forward to trying to play them because I've never tried playing them before and I have been testing them a little bit in single play just to check how they are and I think they are actually a unit which is a faction which can make some challenge you cannot rush a rune like we have rushed every faction in most of our let's plays that's our common strategy nowadays and i don't think we can use that strategy in the well of with the well of the ruin because they are a completely different faction now by the way you can see how efficient these arrow towers are we have lost already like 50 of our guys just to arrow towers and that should really just portray how strong the arrow towers have become in this version now we're going to try to just rush in and just go straight for the town center where the Phallus Lords are awaiting us. These guys look so nice. And you should definitely try to play the Grey Heavens of Lindon and Imladris in this patch because their faction is going to be completely overhauled in the next version when they are becoming one faction together. Just look at that, we have already lost like 80 Half the unit have gone down to the arrow towers. It's kind of ridiculous to be completely honest with you. We're just going to rush over here as soon as we can. We just send the Witch King as well. And I'll just put these guys out of formation just so that they can run. Let's just go through. Just look at these towers. It's insane. And the Ballista towers are even more deadly. So just holding settlements in this patch is much more powerful than before. Just look at this. All the arrow towers just keep raining hell upon us. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Oh, uh, these guys are actually getting targeted. We can just leave them behind. It doesn't really matter. We're probably going to be able to capture the city on time, anyways. And we're getting the armor piercing unit units up against the Phallus Lodge, which is an excellent match. The Witchers, I mean the Barrowites, have indeed proved to be a very good unit against the Phallus Lord so far. We're going to take them from both sides and then we're going to put the Witch King in the side of these guys. Right, let's just bring up a proper formation right there. And these guys were actually just abandoned. So let's just bring them over here and they're just going to stand like right there. They do have a Ballista somewhere, but I don't really think that's a threat threat at all. 
Yeah, actually just go and bring down this ballista. Why not? It is over here. <laughs> the AI is usually not that good at utilizing ballistas in on such a battle map. Let's get him. Yeah, these guys are actually getting teared apart. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Oh yeah. You can actually use these these places arrow towers, which is quite cool. Now, yeah, these guys are going to get wrecked simply because they were caught. But of course, we have already won this campaign by now, so it's not really a big deal. Just keep going for those. The Witch King just entirely slaughtered that unit. Let's get the Witch King over here. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be just to make. This is even more devastating to them. Now we're going to look at how the pikes fare against these Teleri guards. It's mainly the towers which is killing them, to be honest. But they're even getting some kills on their own units at this point. And you guys can just stand here, make sure they don't enter into the town center. You can actually just go and hit them. And there the general goes, goes down. Now it's just a waiting game. Now about this campaign, I think it was very successful. But it has just proven to be a very easy campaign. We might even have been a bit lucky with the Dwarves of Elu not being aggressive. But you can't really know for sure. Like RNG is a part of these campaigns. And sometimes we'll get very easy campaigns. And sometimes we'll get very difficult ones. Yeah, just these arrow towers. They're definitely much more dreaded in this version. Like if you just leave, if you just hold the wall and the air clump up a large force outside, you're going to get so many kills just by the arrow towers. So you can even use very bad... Very bad units and win battles just simply because of that. Of course, you need a couple of holding units inside the city. But you understand what I mean. Saruman. Have he gathered a ring? No. I don't know if a lot of you guys are aware about this, but Saruman actually forged his own ring. But it wasn't, it was just, it wasn't like the one ring. Yeah, it was Harland, and it now goes down. And that Such should be the end of... Yeah, we won! We're going to continue playing a little bit. War. Grey Havens of Lindon are now gone and broken down. And the last hope of Middle-earth is gone. That was actually a very proper end. Just ending... Like, achieving victory after... After breaking down the elves of Lin, I think that's the perfect end, to be completely honest. But I do want to take down Carl Willis as well. And we need a little bit more length on this episode, of course. Now let's get these guys around. I've tried whipping them, but the menace. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight we through. Go no or we can just go around actually. We'll stop here. Your orders. End of turn. Now the Whale of the Winning campaign is going to go up as soon as I can. I'll probably get another Dwarves of Erebor episode up first. Remnants of Angmar, yeah, no thank you. But I'm actually not able to record tomorrow. So I will have to... No, never mind, I'll get an episode out. I usually just pre-record episodes when I can't record some days. Just so that I can get content up as often as I can. Because I'm really motivated by doing YouTube these days. I think it's really, really exciting. Oh, what are these guys doing now? Just leaving their settlement like that? Wow. If we were really efficient this episode, we could even bring down Gundabad yes, my lord. completely. We but they still have a couple of settlements over here. Yeah, they, ho they hold Anasanar. Let's just check question. about Erebor. Yes. I don't think, yeah, Erebor holds it. Oh, Glur got you. some reinforcements right there. But we got some reinforcements here as well. 
these guys can just join. And you as well. The Guardians, we definitely want to see. We can make a rush for a Nasana as well, I think. Just send this trashed. It's not entirely trash. But if we want to bring them down quickly, might be able to. Alright, let's bring these guys as well. Just hit Framsbury at this point. This army is very powerful. Two units of Northgard. And down here, we're really closing up now. But where is their army? They still have some army somewhere. The Dwarven army, I can't really see them at this point. Agendar survived the whole campaign, and we didn't really lose any generals at all, did we? No, we didn't lose a single general in the family. That's wonderful. Oh, just look at all this land. Tired of ordering your own, my lord. 50%? Okay, we're going to give it a shot and see if he survives. No. An order. We're probably going to get attacked over here. Yes, my lord. But that will just ease the pain of the waiting. Alright, let's end the turn again. The reason I'm not building any buildings at this point is just purely because I'm going to end the campaign. So do watch my earlier episodes if you want any tips on how we can utilize the faction of Angmar. I do plan to get more faction overview videos up soon. But I'm starting on my XM period. And it's going to last for like two months. So that's going to hit us. But I will definitely, like, I can still keep uploading episodes. But I might do four episodes a week instead of seven. I'll have to think about it. And yes, they are going to attack. No, they're not going to attack. Those fools. Prince of Dol Amroth, the return of the raids. Minas Morgul liberated, what? Alright, we gotta do a toggle fall right here. This is really interesting. Like, the Mordor got Sauron. And they are struggling? Like, how is this even possible? Where is Sauron at this point? Like, he... He can't be killed. Is that what you want? That's very unlikely. Is that what you want? I can't really find him either though. That's really weird. He can't be placed in one of these settlements, I highly doubt it. Is that what you want? Gondor has taken me as Morgul. What a day to be alive. That's so weird. Very, very weird. And Sauron is just gone. I don't know what's happened. He might be somewhere over here now. I don't really get this. But now as we're first doing a toggle fall, let's just check the whole world. We're only seeing one. Yeah, this is the last piece of Gundabad. Erebor have been holding up all right. It's not anything unusual in this campaign, to be completely honest. Isengard have been taking a large chunk of... No, they have just taken the Nostir. And Hornberg is safe for the meantime. They do have a unit down here, but not going to be able to take down anything here. Alright, that was a little toggle foe. And now let's Yeah. An order. Finish them! Only a matter of time until the slaughter begins. You're all. Have a taste of my blade. As you command. Just going to alter all that. We have Exterminate them. My lord, our courage and honor have conquered. Yes, my lord. And Ogler, yeah, he's you. such a small army. We shall engage. We have triumphed. And there we lost a couple of units. Lord, my lord. But at this point, it doesn't matter. Your will, my lord. 
Let's siege these guys out. You will head up here, and we are going to bring down Onasana. Mosfell. Alright, we're going to be able to bring down three factions in the ending. That's wonderful. Now, let's try to get these gardens in in the last battle here. That would have been very nice. Erebor. We didn't actually want to talk. Now, I think a change should be made to Morvatarth. Because you are going to be able to recruit trolls, but it like you don't get any population growth at all. And you probably need to place a general in the city and just wait for a very long time. Ah, oh, they're probably coming for Corvillishar. I don't get why those dwarves didn't attack Thorin's halls or such. They would definitely have been able to bring it down. What was that sound? That was so creepy. Jesus. What, there's a spy or something? That was actually really creepy. What the hell? Alright, let's see what they are bringing. Bolsmug. Ah, oh, they got these guys. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's see if we can win this battle. That's going to be interesting. How many are they though? They're outnumbering us very much. Bolsmug. Yeah, alright. We're going to play the battle. See how it goes. I'll see you on the battlefield. Alright, we're here. I'm just going to let these troops hold this hill for the time being. And then I'm just going to charge these guys in. To be completely honest. Let's see. The Snow Raiders is the target we want with these Mount Graham Marauders. They should probably bring down half the unit in this charge. It could potentially be even more. Let's see. It looks like the perfect angle if these guys were just faces now. If they start running the other way. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfectly timed. Alright, they're going to lose. Yeah, only like 30. The Gundabad is very, very different for, from the other factions because they got so much armor. So we're not going to be able to bring as many down with our cavalry. And these guys seem to not really listen to what I say. That's probably because we don't have a proper general. That's going to make things a little bit harder for us. Because these guys will not obey us in the right manner. Sometimes at least. There we go. Oh, the Pale Rooks, we definitely want to avoid those. Just look at these guys. They are looking so nice. Yeah, that definitely took a hit on us. The thing here is why I'm only using this one unit is just to try to use them to the best efficiency possible. Because I don't have to micromanage a lot of units. There we go. That should be a nice charge even into the Pale Rooks. Now I give them hell and give them hell. These guys are actually starting to suffer from morale. We're going to send them a little bit close to our general. And we don't really have a good morale without the general, which we're going to see now. This could very well be a defeat. But that's nice to illustrate that because we haven't seen that all campaign to be honest. Oh, that was beautiful. Now I get out of there. Mountain Guard is definitely going to get a lot of kills. They are skilled against mounts. And these guys are already wavering, which is very bad. We definitely need these guys in the whole battle. But holding this hill should be pretty, pretty, pretty good. Now we're going to start charging these guys in the back. Now charge these guys, give them a charge. It looks like we're actually starting to hit our own units a little bit. So let's actually go for some other units instead. And you guys could start going, yeah. Let's just align you here for the time being. Actually, they're really clumped up over here. Let's bring them hell. Let's see if these guys will get proper shots. These guys will definitely get some nice shots in.
Alright, they just keep they just keep targeting that unit. Let's just uh, trick the general. We're not going to let him charge us, but we're going to go around and hit these guys in the back at this point. The bold champions are still here though. Black Shield Warband, perfect target. And you guys start hitting the Mountain God a little bit. They have very much armor. We do want to bring that down a little bit. Actually, hit the Snow Arc Raiders. That's a much better target. This looks like it's going to be a very nice charge. Oh, that was definitely an excellent charge. Almost hitting our own men there. <laughs> We can go for another charge on the backs of these guys now. Black Shield Wars, perfect target. Oh, look at that! Flying Orcs! This is Elite, we're talking about Elite Uruks here. Wonderful charge, wonderful. And these guys just keep chasing us. And at this point, it's time to bring down these burgers over here. You think your bear heads is going to help you? Or the wolf heads? There we go. Wonderful charge. Actually, it wasn't wonderful. It was okay. Considering how many they killed. Yeah, the mountain guard are definitely being brought down by all of these arrows. I hit the black shields. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Extremely beautiful. With the Snorx Spears. Seems almost certain. Wow, this ain't good. Uh, it's just the narrator trying to trick us. We're doing excellent. Hit the Black Shield Warriors, they don't have any spears. Alright, they're 95 now, and after charge. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's what I like about this game, seeing flying orcs in the air. Yeah, they, were, they lost like. 30, 40 orcs there. These guys still have some ammo. Oh, the mountain guard is almost done for. Oh god, these guys are actually, they're actually routing at this point. Which is quite odd. Let's just bring down... Yeah, they're going to gain some uh, percentage on us now, since we lost that unit. That's really stupid. Where's the pale Urix? They're over here. Yeah, they're almost done by now. Alright, let's just try to get them in proper positions down here and give them some more charges. These guys are actually... Oh, they're back. Let's try to get them around. Actually charging the Mountain Guard now would be too bad since they're so low in the number. And we do want to bring down their general. Now you guys head up here. But we're going to get surrounded here if we're not quick. That looked like a nice charge. Hit the Snow Arc Spears. And you're going to hit, yeah, hit the Pale Rooks just to get a target. And you hit the Snow Orcs Scouts which is now in melee. Oh, that is another great charge. Even the Snow Orcs Spears will suffer. By even the Snorks Spears, I mean that they're spearing it, and they will still suffer from our wars. Now, let's see how we can bring down the Bulk's champions from two sides. And there the general goes. Now we should be able to win this battle. Uh, these guys are not going to get the proper charge into the Bulk's champions. You go over there, and you go over there, you head out here. A lot of our troops is routing at this point. It's quite an even battle. Right, let's bring down the Bulk Champions with Dwarves, let's see how that goes. These guys will definitely take some casualties. Start charging straight into Halberts is never a good idea. But at this point, when you're surrounding them from two sides, and you see flying Bulk Champions, then you know it's not too bad. Alright, so you're trying you. Let's see how you're doing. Yeah, you will not catch us, you fools. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. These charges are deadly, man. It's nice to see some early game plays again, where we just have to rely on our works. I like that. Route these pathetic orcs. Mm. 
These guys still, they keep chewing us up though. It's still an even battle and it's definitely not decided yet. And if we lose our general, that's going to be devastating. But that should be a pretty deadly charge. Why they're not routing yet is probably because it still holds a couple of men. And our lead is not too great. And we don't have a proper general either. Now let's hit these guys from two sides and just bring them down entirely. Yeah, they're going to rout once these guys hit. Let's get them out and... <laughs> once again, wonderful charges. I just keep getting surprised because they're so overpowered these words. And that was deadly. Moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Utterly devastating. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be Can't ours. see what units still remains. Oh, these two boys the over here. The field. And let's the just end the battle right there. That was a glorious victory. Mount Graham Marauders. Worthy. Very, very well done. It looks like the Horn of Gondor. On the fields of Pelennor. I cannot guess what the battle is. It might very well be the battle for Minas Tirith, but uh, it's only in the books where Faramir just take a suicide charge. In the books, he's still is fighting, uh, but it's a whole other situation. And Gondor's man is not that stupid. Oh wow! What is this? They just did their, their doom. Alright, I'll see you on the battle. Alright, now you get to see the battles I usually don't show you. But this is the last episode. So let's see how it goes. This is just a normal, very fast-paced battle. And you will see the reason why I don't show this. Because they're just not really exciting. Now, do you have any last words, Mr. General? Let's see how this goes. He will probably get... Yeah, it's over for him. And now it's all about just letting these works do some more damage. And then charging them with those. And you guys can go over here and you can start targeting those. Let's get another charge in. And you guys are going to hit. Just hit them with everything you got. And they will break in a minute. The there we go. Actually, it was a second. But there you see why I don't show these battles. And I think a lot of you guys actually enjoy that I'm not showing those kind of battles. Because a lot of YouTubers don't click that away. And it's pretty useless. 12 <laughs> lost and 349 killed. Now what this is, I cannot guess. Might be... No, I'm not sure. Do you guys have any suggestions what this could be? I do remember from the Hobbit movie that there was some kind of thunder giants, but it's so long since I read the Hobbit book, and I can't really remember if they actually existed in the books. I'm quite certain they were just barely mentioned, and that they weren't really... A last feature. Alright. Now, and let's see. They still hold a pretty large garrison. Rune expands. We're just going to bring all of these guys all together. And we're going to wait for the Guardians of Condom as well. I really want them to see, to see them in action. And you're just going to stay there for now. Yes, my lord. And you are going to head straight for this. And let's just finish off the dwarves of Ered Luin. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, An order. Wow, Clan Herald Dury is actually one turn away. Yes. That's just really lucky. Alright, I will see you on the back map. Alright, we are here. We're just going to use three rams and just take them from all sides and we'll see how that works out. I'll just barely group these boys as well. 
And they actually have three generals, so they actually have quite the opposition here. They also have some dwarven laborers and some elderly militia. Not really a threat, but they're still pretty decent. And let's just bring all of these guys up towards the gate. With the only units that we can really use to uh, properly here is the Barrowites, as well as some of the Pikes, I suppose. Right. Let's go there, and over here. Yeah, we're done here as well. Let's just bring them all here, and you guys can actually just start walking in as well. Right, we're just going to take them from all sides. And this is going to be the fall of Eredluin, finally. After so many years, they have they have stayed in the mountains all the time throughout the first, second and third age. Not in reality though, they kind of left... Uh, why are these guys outside? That's weird. But anyways, yeah. I don't really think there there were a little bit, a little bit of du, 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 or um, dwarves of Eldwin in the mountains at the end of the third age, but not really much. It's just like the mod just uses the speculation probably. Why are these not guys not going through here? I'm rather surprised. All right, let's just get at it. Ah, oh, they can actually go right here, which is rather useful. Let's bring the witches over here and hit the two Munsahar nobles. And these guys are also going here. I don't really understand that. Now you guys go here and you can just hit there. And you just hit these guys as well. We're just going to use all our trash. We're going to win the battle anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's try to surround them properly though. There's no reason to not do it. And you guys as well. And you guys can go here. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Little bit buggy. See how these guys fare. I want Drango to witness the end of the dwarves. Let him go in here. He's been our one of our most successful generals. Probably the most successful one, after my opinion. He has done so much for us. But now it's their end. They actually get 70 in the faction leaders. And their faction leaders Foliga. Right, let's bring in these guys as well. The battle is very much in our favor. But yeah, this uh, this part is actually recorded a day after the rest of the episode. I had to cancel it yesterday. That's why the episode is one day later than usual. But I have decided Whale of the Ruin is going to be the next campaign. And it's going to be up tomorrow. Uh, so that's quite exciting. Then we have two new campaigns going on, and that's going to bring me some more passion. I was a bit tired of just playing this and the the Isengard campaign of lately wasn't really that exciting anymore. But it's okay now. We get some new factions, and I'm going to try to bring up more faction guides, as well as some more lore videos. Even though I know a lot of you guys don't think that's as interesting. I still think it's interesting and I need to follow my passions and of course I will still bring a lot of quality content so I think it's, it works out now let's just bring in more here you see what powerful units can do to trash they just make them like they just spread out and you they're just fighting outwards then you know it's a good unit you will often see that with elves and dwarves especially and sometimes with Arnorian or Gondorian elites as well. But we're going to capture the town center at this point. 
And Drango is going to sound the warhorn and just show us that we are indeed successful. I'm not sure if that was the faction leader. Balin. Not the Balin we know. Eat some dwarves now, works. Enjoy your meal. And let's hope they bring some fries as well. Dwarves with fries, sounds good. Now, is it only me that's going to watch the new Game of Thrones episode? I'm really hyped. Definitely looking forward to it. But I'm, of course, most looking forward to the Lord of the Rings series, which is coming out in 2021. And I have released a couple of videos on that, if you want to listen to some lore that will most likely be portrayed. It's very likely. Alright, just two more percent. And who are they actually fighting now? There's still another... Wow, Balin again. I think that's a glitch in this patch. That it will portray the same journal multiple times. I have experienced that. Not only today, but other times as well. Now, these dwarves have so many hit points, it's ridiculous. This is a and there we go. Victory. That's the end of Ered Luin, finally. And that concludes our campaign. Now I'm probably just going to... I'm quickly just going to end the faction of Gundabad as well. Just for the sake of fun. But it doesn't really matter. But it has been a very successful campaign. That looks like Bilbo. And there they go. Dwarves of Ereduin is gone. A lot of clan leaders die there. Wow. We have destroyed so many factions. Your orders, my lord. Orders. All right, we're going to see Mr. Odedrek in action. Now I'm going to make the intro for the Vale of Dorvinian campaign afterwards. That's going to be a hard one, like with the dwarves and Dol Amroth and Gondor for the faction guides. It has been quite easy to make intros, but um, what shall I focus around the Whale of the Ring? That's going to be exciting. But I do have some plans. I think if this campaign had continued, we would have seen some action with the Orcs or the Goblins of Moria. That would probably have been the next faction, as well as Dunland and Enodwath. We would probably have been with war with them yes. for a while at that point. With honor. All right, here is Captain Uldrek. And let's just end the turn again. I don't really care about the other parts of the map at this point. But look down in the left corner, just look at the map. It's so clean. We have taken out so... Like, we have maintained our borders pretty well. Only ended Wyeth and Dunland, and we would have gotten the whole area of Eriador and that would have been looked very nice on the map. All of these goblins are nice. Uh, it's weird they haven't attacked us at this point to be honest but I think it's because we have such a large garrison in Imladris, that's why I don't, they just don't have the balls to do it. Karasant besieged. More under siege. Alright, let's bring in these two. And that's a beautiful army. I'm going to attack them the next turn. And I'm just going to stand here. Ah, the dwarves would have brought them down as well. Alright, let's just wait. Let's hope we can see those Guardians of Kandum in action. I don't really think they're going to leave the settlement. But of course you have seen... Oh no, the dwarves came before us. And I think they're going to end Kundabad 
right away. We'll have to see. But that will be three faction de factions dead in one episode. That's gotta be a record. I don't think we have killed more factions in one video before. Now we just gotta wait. But I think the dwarves are going to be successful. They had like a full stack. And if they fail that battle, that's really weird. Yes, my lord. With honor. Alright, let's yes. just stand right there. Let's see what he got, yeah. We know these units from our airborne campaign. And they go down. And the dwarves of Erebor bring them down and it's over. And our ex expansion would have started with breaking down the dwarves of Erebor. But uh, I'm going to end it right here. Just going to wait for the turn to... Wow, that's a creepy noise again. That's so creepy. Yeah, but I'm, I'm very happy to end this campaign at this point. I just have no motivation at this, this moment. And that will inflict on my gameplay. So when I start the Dorvini one, I'm going to be so excited. Yeah, the Lord of Kunabad is dead. Your orders, my lord. And they actually hold quite a large garrison here. Alright, faction destroyed Gundabad. Let's see how the world ended right before we end this campaign. Alright, so we hold most land in Eredor. But uh, the clans of Enerwaith and Dunland is still fighting a little bit. Over here, how much have Isengard? They have only taken Don last year. Dervath they have taken. And Enedwath is actually warring with Dunland. Gondor is holding up pretty nicely as far as I can see. They have lost Henneth Arnon and Eastern Skilliat. But they have Hirlin on the front and Hurin and Forlong. And of course Mordor got Sauron at some point and I had no idea what happened to him. Wow, Gondor is even sieging out Gelebrin. And Ruin just took Karasant this very turn. And the war between the dwarves and Ruin is on its way right here. As well as Dale. Dale is pretty safe though. Dol Guldor. They only hold, yeah, they hold a couple of regions actually. But the Ruin has pushed out pretty far. And Mordor. They are performed pretty poorly considering they had Sauron. That's very surprising. Well, Amroth, the usual. They hold Lin here, but they have n they do not have Baratan and they do not hold Gobble Tolfeles anymore. So the Corsairs are going to be able to launch a lot of attacks on them. But yeah, that is going to be it. Be it. I'm so grateful for all of you watching this whole campaign. It was a very nice campaign. But it was a very easy one, and we never had any problems, which made it a little bit boring from time to time. So it's nice to start a new one at this point. But I, I guess I showed you guys how you can utilize this faction to its full potential, and that was my goal after all. And I'm glad we had victory in the end. Duration completed. Domination completed. So that's, that's just beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this campaign. And do make sure you watch the first episode of the Whale of the Winning campaign. As well as you continue watching my Dwarves of Erebor campaign. I'm also releasing more faction guides. And some lore videos. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys for the Whale of the Winning campaign.